So, that seems to be the problem. Well, Doc, ever since moving out to this island, it's like I've got this strange compulsion. And what is it you are being compelled to do? You're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's as if the sea is calling out to me and telling me to create things and make things. And it doesn't even matter what I make, it just wants me to make more and more things. And it's never satisfied and it's starting to just drive me mad! Hello, and welcome to the Lo-Fi Workshop. My name is Jay, and I like to make all kinds of weird little things, including videos like this one right here. And here we go. All right, well, you clicked on the video. You know what this is. We're making some goat creatures. Well, actually, that's a bit of a misnomer because the second creature has the head of a ram. But we're not going to let that bother us, are we? Well, I know I'm not. So if you've seen videos like this before on YouTube, then you know the drill. I've got some toys, I'm gonna cut them up, and I'm gonna glue them back together to make a new creature. And this one's gonna be adorable. But rather than just talk about dremeling and super gluing, I thought I'd talk about something a little different today. You know, I try to keep things lighthearted on this channel because we all know there's enough darkness in the world already. But sometimes it's good to reflect on the darkness inside yourself. And with summer taking its time getting started, I've found myself reflecting on my own darkness quite a bit. So I live out here on Cape Breton Island, which is a beautiful island. But I didn't grow up out here, and I've actually only lived out here for the last couple of years. And so far I love it, but relocation hasn't exactly been an easy process. Aw, oh, look at this little scamp. So this isn't the first time I've relocated, but it's definitely the furthest I've ever moved and the furthest I've ever been away from family and friends. So, you know, it's probably been a lot harder than I like to admit to myself sometimes. But talking about it does help. And the other thing that really helps is the community of people that I've found online who are really into crafting and making fun videos. And for the first time in my life, I'm really excited about showing people the kind of things that I've been up to. And sharing my art with people and sharing my joy with people has brought me a lot of joy. And you know, I often find myself wondering if I would be doing this at all if I hadn't moved here. And to be honest, I'm, I'm still not sure. But I do think that sometimes in order to grow, you need to step out of your comfort zone. And I've certainly done that. But so far all of my growth seems to have been around my midsection. So maybe I'm not doing it right? I, I don't know. Either way, these guys are done. Time to get painting. Now again, I'm not going to go into full detail about the painting, but I did start them off by priming them with a dark gray from the bottom and a light gray from the top. And the colors for this first one are inspired by a character from one of my favorite cartoons when I was growing up, and that's Snarf from the Thundercats. And it's kind of appropriate that I'm talking about the Thundercats right now because their origin story involves them leaving their home world and traveling a vast distance to create a new home and a new place. And much like the Thundercats befriending the Burbles and the Warrior Maidens, I've tried to make friends with people in my neighborhood around here. And I don't know if I've told you this, but my wife, she draws. And so we've been attending a lot of conventions out here in Atlantic Canada which is another great way to get out and meet people. Now, one of my favorite writers of all time is Kurt Vonnegut, and he's got a lot of great quotes, but I'm gonna throw this one up on the screen here because I think it's important and it's relevant to what I'm talking about. What should young people do with their lives today? Many things, obviously, but the most daring thing is to create stable communities in which the terrible disease of loneliness can be cured. 
And so I just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my wife, my cats, my brothers, who all really do a good job of helping me keep that loneliness at bay. So thank you guys. And this guy is looking good. So that's one that's done and it's on to the next one. And for the colors on this one, we're just going for something that's going to make it look woodsy. And I kind of went with an influence of a sun bear. That's why he's going to have a brown stripe around his neck. And you know, I imagine if these two creatures ever met each other, they'd probably be friends. They're both real cuddly looking boys. But it would be pretty unlikely for them to ever meet on the home planet that I've created for them because they do exist in different geographic locations. Still, I do think it's entirely plausible to think that somebody out there has one of each in a menagerie somewhere. The creatures on the planet are often hunted for trophy but also uh, captured for a variety of different reasons. And a lot of those captured animals, I'm sure, struggle with the same feelings of loneliness and isolation that a lot of us have been feeling for the past few years. So I'm happy to be presenting these two together as friends. And if you'd like to be my friend, a great way to get started would be to go down and hit that like button down below. It doesn't cost a thing, and it really helps the channel. And if you really like what you're seeing and you want to see some more, hit that subscribe while you're down there or hit any of the links in the description. And hey, if you know of any great communities for people like me that are into crafting and making videos and stuff like that, go ahead and drop a link to it in the comments and I'll check it out. I was recently turned on to the Indie Miniature Makers Collective, so, you know, hopefully I'll make some friends there. And my wife's actually going to be a vendor at a convention in a couple of weeks, so you know, there's always great chances to meet people if you just go out and look for them. And speaking of conventions, I've actually applied to have a table at a convention coming up soon, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But fingers crossed for now. You see, it's one thing to share things on the internet. It's been great for me and I've gotten a great boost out of it, but I think it's a totally different thing to get that face-to-face -face reaction from people. But anyways, we're coming to the end of this project here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up so we can get on to those beautiful final shots. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. So, send me by your hair.